circuit and then click on a create a new circuit create a new circuit create a new circuit after that so what are the components are required for the designing of uh, the this circuit to verify the NAND gate so first one is in the search bar write down a breadboard so write down a breadboard click on the breadboard and just uh, choose a breadboard here so drag and drop here and then what is the next component that one is required so power supply so in the search bar write down supply supply and choose here a power supply next uh, so here we have used the ic so just told the name of the ic uh, for the nand gate that one is 7400 so 7400 ic so quad nand gate ic is connected here and then uh, here we can choose uh, led for on and off and this led having one anode terminal and cathode terminal cathode is negative so connected to grounded and anode so connected to a output terminal so this one led and now we can choose a one register so now here i'm choosing a one kilo ohm register uh, so at the output side okay and then uh, here we have connecting uh, choose a slide switch for as an input so everyone know the slide switch how to work uh, this is the for a input and the second slide switch that one is used for a B input for the B input okay so this is the negative terminal now here we have connect the negative terminal so as a ground so this one is the ground choose the color is a black yes and uh, positive terminal so positive terminal and this positive terminal is is just not choose this one. this positive terminal is a uh, 5 volt so it's a choose a color as a red color which click on here uh, power supply just to check it voltage is 5 volt so 5 volt is supply here and the ground so this is the common point the ground is. and in this IC pin number 14 is a plus BCC so here we can connect it, this one as a positive and again uh, in the slide switch we can choose choose a pin number one is terminal one is high and second slide switch here I'm choosing a terminal one is high and now now the seven seven number pin is a grounded for this IC cathode terminal is also grounded here yes and the terminal 2 is now chosen as a ground here similarly here the terminal 2 is chosen as a ground here yes and and pin number now we can choose a common common point so this is the pin number for a nand gate nand gate pin number 1 is as a input as a input 1 and this one is a uh, pin number two and which one is the output pin for a NAND gate so three is the output pin so just now connect this three is as a output pin so this is the output pin now our uh, designing part is completed okay so now start a simulation just to check it check it so when when the values what is the value here a input a is the switch is left shifted so common and terminal one is sorted so it's the value is one so a is one and again b is one b again switch is left shifted and terminal one is connected to high so b is one so a is one b is one led is off when a is zero because here the switch is right shifted and terminal 2 is connected to ground so common and terminal 2 well supply here the 0 
so a is 0 and b is 1 again its the value is high or or you can choose uh, its the value is uh, when a is 1 and b is 0 again led is high and one another situation both the values a and b is 0 0 this one is high so in this way you can verify the truth table of an and gate so both is 0 high and when both is 1 what happened so both is 1 1 the output is 0 and any one of the values is 1 and another terminal b is 0 so it's the values is high led high means uh, it's uh, uh, 1 output is 1 so in this way you can verify the truth table of a uh, NAND gate So is that clear to all or anyone have any doubts, any query? Yeah, I hope everyone understood. Yes or no? At least everyone give your response. Yes, it's clear. Okay. Now, now I'm discuss with you a next logic gates to verify the NOR gate. So click on a circuit and create a new circuit. Create a new circuit. Create a new circuit. What are the components required here? A breadboard. Breadboard is required. So just now drag and drop here a breadboard and then what are the components required uh, supply supply is required so here we can choose a power supply and then the components of uh, ic so ic number is 7402 7402 this is the quad nor gate ic quad nor gate ic that one is used here and then we can choose here a uh, two slide switch a and b for a input and second slide switch is used for a uh, second input and then here we can choose a uh, one led for the uh, purpose of off means zero and on means one and now here we can choose a uh, one resistor so resistor output terminals and this terminal is the cathode so this one is the grounded and anode so output side now connect here a uh, power supply so this one is a grounded so change its uh, color is black so throughout this values is grounded or zero volt now for the positive terminal so positive terminal is connected here as the positive terminal and choose its color is red and what is the value of this power supply is voltage is 5 volt so here we can supply here a 5 volt throughout okay and then uh, pin number 14 of the ic is dcc so here is this one is connected to a positive power supply and now we can choose this terminal one is high for uh, slide switch one and slide switch two also terminal one is high and and here i'm choosing a uh, terminal two that one is chooses as a low or ground so same slide switch two terminal two is chooses as a ground and pin number seven of this ic is grounded and this led this terminal is cathode so cathode terminal is also grounded yes so first pin the common terminal here the common terminal is connecting to as a, a nor gate so which one is the input so nor gate is the two number pin is the one input so internal just now i'm choosing a color is green another input another input so common terminal pin number three is the another input pin number three is so first second third three is the another input and which one is the output so one number pin is the output for a nor gate the output is connected to here at a uh, 
uh, anode terminal of uh, LED. So my circuit configuration is the key here. Now we start a simulation, just a check it. So initially, initially the slide switch, see that here the uh, terminal A switch is left shifted and that one is connected to here, a uh, terminal one is connected to a five volt that is high. So A is one and B is also switch is left shifted and the terminal one is connected to high. So both the input is one one. What is the output? Output is zero. Both the input is one one, output is zero. And if uh, this slide switch is shifted to right, that means terminal two. So terminal two is grounded. So what happens? That means A is zero and B is one. Still LED is off. That means output is zero. And another chance is uh, uh, it may be, maybe B is zero. So this slide switch, uh, is shifted to right. So the the for B input, this value is zero, but A input is one because this switch is left shifted. So still LED is off. That means output is zero. And now when the both, when uh, both A and B is uh, zero, zero, in that case, LED is on. That means high. Yes. So here the first switch, uh, here the switch is shifted to right. So and the ter so, uh, so terminal two, where the terminal two is grounded. Similarly, uh, for the next slide switch B, that one is also a uh, switch is shifted to right. So both the case A and B is zero zero. Output is one or uh, uh, true. So output is LED is glow. And if both is one one. LED is off or any one of the values is changes again LED is off. So in this way you can verify the truth table of a NOR gate. So is that clear to all?